Have y'all ever thought about your pain being your strongest motivator to survive? Have y'all ever thought about your pain being your strongest motivator to thrive? Well, I have. It's been one of the strongest forces in our lives. You see, a lot of people want to achieve a certain level of status, a certain financial bracket, because they are in fear of being broke again. They are in fear of sleeping in their car, asking their mama for money. And that hurts a lot of people. They're afraid of that. They shy away from it which in turn encapsules a stronger insecurity. But what if, what if you can make that pain, what if you can make that thing that hurt you the most your strongest, most courageous move? This is your strongest move. So you know what you do? You begin to create art with what hurt you. You begin to create a vision and a lane for yourself and other people's pain to thrive. You begin to build a lane for yourself that is not glorifying the pain, but it is Amplifying how you don't let your pain and your hurt define you. Everything in life is art. I need y'all to know that. Everything in life is art. The cars we drive, the house we live in, the pets we have, the food we have in our refrigerator, all this equipment, the lights, Pictures, posters, of course, paintings, people, smiles, skin, everything is art. Everything. What hurts you could be the greatest thing to make you a beast. You see, I always say, if your mistakes can make you a better person, how bad were they in the first place? How bad were they? How much did it really affect your mental if it made you a better man? You got to embrace that. You got to say to yourself, I love what happened to me. I embrace all of it with love. I don't shy away from nothing. Don't deprive me of anything. Because I want all the greatness. This is going to make me, never break me. I'm going to shine more light on why this happened to me. So I can study it, I can embrace it, I can evolve from it, and I can grow wherever I'm at. I could be in a different state by myself, hurting. But don't forget to say I'm growing with that as well. I'm hurting, but I'm growing too. I'm in pain, but I'm growing with it too. Everything in life is art. Create more art. We all need to start thinking of more ways to create, become visionaries, and build more intellectual property. Art. If anybody knows anything about paintings and art, you know that you can go on eBay, Google, Amazon, Pinterest right now and you will see paintings that look like somebody's six-year-old son had a field day on a canvas being sold for $500,000, upward to a million dollars. Don't believe me? Look it up. They take their fingerprints and they splatter it on a canvas. They do, do it up and they put their 
Signature at the bottom, $1,000. That's my offer. Take it or leave it. Yep. And who's going to say otherwise? This is my canvas. What J. Cole said, this is my canvas. I'm going to paint it how I want it, baby. Nobody can tell me that I can't make this my price. This is my pain. This is my hurt. I have a right to that. Doesn't mean I'm always going to be right. But I'm always doing my best to right my wrongs. From my pain. From my hurt. From what I was afraid of. From what I was lacking. I was inadequate. I got to be honest. I was inadequate. But I'm going to create more art with what I was lacking. Because just because I don't have it right now, it doesn't mean I don't have it right now. Just because I don't have it here does not mean it's not on the way. Because trust me, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. I see it every day. Y'all got to visualize this every day. Learn how to create more art because guess what? In five years, you will look ahead and see everything that you've accomplished, see everything that you've built, and then you'll look back and you'll see all the statues and all the canvases and paintings that you didn't want to let go once upon a time until you just said, fuck it. I'm going to create more with what happened to me. And it's not always in the form of pain and fear. Of course, art is beautiful. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is what you make it. Beauty is how you paint it. Beauty is magic. Beauty is love. Beauty is an essence. Beauty is a energy. But with that energy, if I perceive that a certain way and somebody sees what I see totally different, we're both right. Create more art. Create more art. Frequencies. Frequencies and vibrations tell you no lie. How you create your art is what you must think about. How are you going to relay this message? What is your intentions going to be while creating this art? That's what we got to focus on for this next generation. Because as we see, they are wanting to move us all the way out the picture. But how can you move the artist out the picture that they painted 